Okay. Recording in three, two, one, go. All right. So upcoming um, projects and shows and just uh, different different business ventures and things like that that I have coming up. Um, right now, man, there's a guy I'm working with. Uh, he goes by the name uh, YKK, and he I'm putting a lot of lot of energy and time in, into him. Um, I've, I've been blessed to work with. A, I've got a, a really good um, list of clients right now. But this in particular artist, um, at the end of the summer, we're going to be releasing his uh, de debut. Um, it originally was the EP, but honestly, it's going to end up being a full album at this point because we just keep making good song after good song after good song, and we just are meshing so well. And I've got some other uh, artists as well. The Fort Worth Weekly um, Music Awards to, uh, 2019 are coming up here in whatever, a month or two, and I've got um, artists up and down all different categories, uh, people that I record for... Um, I think this year again, I'm I'm up for uh, with my boy Rex, uh, best hip hop album of the year, uh, best music video of the year. Uh, let's see, uh, best new artist. Uh, and so next year, my boy YKK, he's gonna be all over that. Uh, but yeah, I've I've got multiple clients on stuff like that. And then real quick, go ahead and check this out right here. Uh, Henry the Archer. You can find them on uh, every major platform. But um, I'm playing drums in that group now. Uh, we just got back from tour uh, about a week or two ago, uh, and we're shooting for the end of October to hit up the entire West Coast. And we are in the process of talking with Interscope right now. Uh, so you're the first to hear that. Uh, nothing's promised or anything, but we are talking actually to the guy that. The, to the guy that signed Billie Eilish is who we're in contact with right now. Um, and so there's some talks of some stuff. I don't want to get hopes up or anything like that or get my own hopes up, but there's some talks of possibly getting onto a, um, one of the opening slots at Coachella uh, for next year through this individual. Um, and yeah, we've got some shows coming up, uh, but we're honestly to a point where we're not really concentrating on local anymore. Not that we're too good for that or anything like that. It's just that we're trying to just, you know, when we're home, we're just trying to just rehearse and write and, and you know, record. And we're trying to hit, we're trying to go out of town and we're trying to network more and, and, and just do, do some bigger stuff. We're not trying to be here in Fort Worth forever as much as we love it. But yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff going on. Um, again, it's... You know, my name will be tagged on. You'll see Rob G tagged on, especially if, if you're into hip hop. You'll be seeing, you'll see my name around and seeing me in, in people's videos or in the credits or whatever. So, yeah, there's a lot of other things too, but those are the two. Um, Henry the Archer, check them out, like I said. And then my boy YKK, just be on the lookout for him. And that's that's really the two things I would, I would want to push right now. But yeah. Cool, man. Sorry that I went way over on all of them. I just, oh, no, no, I'm a talker, man. Okay. Recording in three, two, one, go. All right. So one thing I wish uh, artists understood or knew uh, before it, trying to work with me basically or any producer uh, to be honest or any producer like me um, there's different calibers and things things like that uh, and I'm still not where I want to be either but I, I this is, is what I do this is how I make a living um, and I've invested all, all of my money and all of my time to this and um, you know it's there's, there's a couple of things I, I'll just briefly try to go over because there's a, a long list of things that I, I mean, I could sit here for two hours and, and talk about this, but artists need to understand, uh, and some, some do, but most don't, um, is this, you know, a lot of people look at it like, oh, this is, this is fun for you, you know, this is, you know, 
you're getting them to sit here and make music and this blah, 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 where they're not understanding that, man, I've gone to school for this. That cost me a lot of money. I've, I'm constantly a student. I'm always going to be a student. I'm putting a lot of energy and time into to learning uh, to get so I can make your stuff sound better. Uh, I'm not putting stuff out. I'm trying to get y'all stuff uh, out. Um, this, I'm constantly having to stay up with new gear. Uh, this computer, the technology is changing so fast that I'm having to buy new new mics, new computers. I'm having to uh, replace things. I'm having to, you know, it's, it's just a constant grind and a lot of money has gone into this. And so when people want to try to get upset with with my rates or something, first of all, I probably have the best rates in DFW, um, especially for the quality that you get. And second, you know, they just, they got to understand that a lot, uh, there's a lot, if not more than really what the artist puts into it, to be honest with you. And I, I really don't mean that the wrong way, but I mean, it's a lot of time and money and energy and, and just a lot that goes into the behind the scenes that a lot of people don't understand. And that's fine. But as an artist, you need to understand that you, you have to you need to go ahead and do maybe some research or something or like or uh, well, however you need to go about it you need you need to learn some of the ins and outs of of what's going happening on the other side because it's 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 a lot more than you probably think um and then one thing i want to say right before i wrap this question up is if you know i'm kind of you know getting away from this just because i'm i'm finally getting to the point where i can pick and choose but um you know your friends whether and this doesn't even really uh this isn't even directly to me but just anybody uh, offering any type of creative service your friends you know trying to get stuff for free or whatever or discounted first of all that's not that's really not a good friend in the first place that's a different conversation but um just people trying to come at you with you know how many times a day i get a, a dm and somebody saying like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna help you blow up i don't even I don't respond to those people, man. I don't even respond at all to to people like that. So just keep that type of stuff in mind, man. Uh, when you're when you're reaching out to a producer or you're trying to link up with someone or don't hit me with the hey fam, let's collab. I don't take that serious at all. I used to. The younger self did, but people on my caliber or higher, they're not. It's a joke, you know what I'm saying? So do some research and figure out what's really happening behind the scenes. Is all I got to tell you. Okay, so my style, that is by far what, what's gonna, what sets me apart from, from any other producers that I, I know of, uh, especially in DFW. Um, you know, sadly, um, I'm one of the very few that's still using real instruments. Uh, I do do a lot, I mean, I'm, I do a lot of hip hop, so I do a lot of, you know, program beats and MIDI stuff and, um, but when it comes to keys and stuff, even though I could program that, I, I really like to, I'm capable, I play almost every instrument. So, um, and a lot of my clients do as well. And it's, it's, you just can't beat actually playing it or even the guitar. I mean, I could, I have, you know, artificial sounding guitar stuff that would sound incredible, but I want to play the real guitar or especially when I have an opportunity to play real drums and you just, you, you can't beat that and it's it's real that's really the best way to sum that up is it is literally is real music um and something about that being a little bit off is what makes it sound on to me whenever it's programmed and it's it's too perfect and it's it's not i don't know i mean it sounds good to the to the ear but it's something about you know I, I don't I don't want that piano piece to be a hundred percent. I want it I want it to be pretty pretty close, but I want it I want it to be a little bit a couple milliseconds off here and there so that maybe you're gonna swing with the beat a little bit or same with kicks and snares on a drum set or just stuff like that. You know, you can just, just real real instruments. I that it's a big part of my my style. Um and then also over the years as I've just grown and, and gotten better and 
been able to kind of pick and choose a little bit who I work with. Um, I really am kind of picky with who I even work with because we have to, I don't like to force anything. You know, when I was first starting off, I, had, I was saying yes to everybody. I just needed experience. I needed the money. Um, you know, just why not? And so I'm saying yes to everybody. And over time, just sometimes, you know, the vibe isn't there. And it, uh, some of the, sometimes, man, they might be extremely, uh, you know, it's not, uh, it's nothing negative against me or the artist. It's just, I'm like, sometimes I'll even say, hey, I know this other guy. I think y'all actually might, you know, want to work together, you know? And I've got people sending artists my way as well. Um, the artist I have coming tonight, he was working with someone else and he actually was recommended from this other producer saying, hey, I think you and Rob G would really, y'all would really see eye to eye and y'all would really link up a lot more. And he, and you know, we did. And he's, he's one of my favorite, um, fa favorite artists to work with right now. Um, but my, I don't make these bangers and stuff like that. I could. Uh, I mean, I've, I could hop on Fruity Loops or Reason or something and, and make a, in 10 minutes, make a, a, a banger. But to me, I, I, I like to make, you know, songs. I don't like to make beats. And so that's, that's another thing that's going to set me apart is a lot of other producers and there's nothing wrong with it. And I totally understand why these producers operate this way. But every other producer, you know, any uh, other colleagues that I have, they're gonna have a whole vault of music. I mean, you can have a client come in, artists come in, or you shoot them some emails, however they operate. They're gonna have a whole vault because they're sitting down every day knocking out two beats or five beats, or I have one guy that makes like 10 beats a day, and there's nothing wrong with that. I don't like to work that way. I want to be in the studio with the artist. What's what's the what's the vibe? You know, how are we feeling that day? What's the song about? Do you have a direction you want to go? How are you feeling today? How am I feeling today? Uh, I don't want to. Nothing's forced, and it's it's very organic. And it, you can tell when you listen to my stuff that it's it is organic, and it has an entirely different feel. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really proud of that. Like I said, I could very easily have a whole vault worth of, I could make 10 beats a day and I could be selling them for X amount and just be, you know, shooting them off everywhere. But that's that's for everyone else. They can they can do that. And again, there's no hate on that. I have a lot some colleagues that are doing very well uh, operating that way. But for me, it's you're gonna get a little bit more of like a custom, real organic, you know, uh, situation happening over here at Clarity. So, yeah, man, my my style is uh, is unique, and I, I'm proud to say that. And I put a lot of work into it being unique. Like I said, I play just about every instrument, and that didn't happen overnight. I've, you know what I mean. I I've put a lot of work into it. So I, my style definitely um, it's everything to me. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to definitely get in depth, but I'm not trying to be talking forever on each one. You know what I mean? No, no, no. definitely that's good. It's recording. Okay. Recording in three, two, one, go. So basically, <clears throat> to wrap it up, the process is everything to me. Everything. Um, and I mean that that's literally really the best way I can explain it it's, it is everything and it's, that's all I care about is, uh, is keeping the process organic man um, so that's that's how Rob G operates uh, yeah next question okay recording in three Two, one, go. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, so uh, I'm Robert Grammer, a.k.a. Rob G. Uh, that was a name uh, given to me by multiple people. Um, I'm from the east side of Fort Worth, over there, Stop 6 area, if you're familiar with it. So, I got into music, you know, playing you know, pretty typical story of a lot of people. I started playing acoustic guitar, then I wanted to play an electric guitar, and then I got a bass guitar, and then I wanted to find people to play with. And being where I was from, there really wasn't 
too much of that going on. So I pretty much got sucked into the world of hip hop very early on. I've been doing this since I was about 10. I'm 30 now, so I've been doing it for about 20 years. Um, so I, I, you know, as soon as I started getting into that, people started calling me Rob G. So that's what you're, you know, I'm, um, referred to pretty much in any production that I ever do. As far as Clarity Music Group, that's only about four or five years old. Um, and it's, and you know, it was created for a lot of different reasons. It's pretty much an umbrella that is, it honestly goes beyond music. It's, um, uh, it's really, uh, it really is a group, you know? Uh, a lot of people get it, get it um, confused as a label or something like that. Uh, uh, it's really a, a, a group of, uh, I've got videographers, photographers. I'm, I'm writing my, uh, my first book right now that's gonna be released under this umbrella. I've got um, another partner I'm working with writing another book. He'll be putting that book underneath this umbrella. Uh, any music that I do um, in the future, I will be signing people to it. So I guess it will become a label, but um, it's really just a, a group of, of creatives. Uh, and so that's how that that became a thing um and so yeah we're going on about four or five years now like legit you know uh llc all you know um le legitimate business i ran it for about two years kind of just on the side but now this is this is a full-time what i do um and it's it's turned into you know doing a lot more stuff other than just recording rappers I've I'm doing um, I've done a uh, score for multiple films now uh, I've done some uh, you know audio for commercials I've done something I never thought I was gonna do and I actually fell in love with it uh, jingles I've done two jingles so far I just did one for this company out in Colorado this random irrigation company found me stuff like that to where it's just opened up you know there's you know it's just you know anything audio related i'm 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 down for it you know uh also like any like i said i originally started off you know trying to be like a, a little blink 182 kid you know what i'm saying i wanted to be i was heavy into the, like pop punk and i was like a little skater punk kid just making trouble and playing my guitar and and this and that and then um you know, so, you know, I'm playing in a band now, uh, Henry the Archer. We just actually got back on uh, from tour. We toured up around Tennessee and all the sur surrounding states. We should be hitting the West Coast uh, around late October. Um, and so that's, you know, I'm just doing a lot of different things right now. Uh, that's the only thing that doesn't fall under clarity, but everything else, uh, my podcast, hashtag unfriended, that's, that's under the same umbrella. Um, and just, you know, just going with the flow, really. You know, I didn't mean to talk, talk your ears off about that one, but it's just so much, so many different things going on. Um, it's kind of hard to sum up, you know, uh, and I don't even really fully know what it is or it's what it's gonna be yet. I'm just kind of doing what I want to do. And um, trying to make that to where I can, I can live off that and be happy and pay my bills and, you know, not have to work, work for anybody anymore. That's the, that's the main goal. So yeah, that sums that one up. Recording in three, two, one, go. All right, so one lesson that I wish I could go back and teach my younger self. Um, to me, that's really easy. There's a million of them, but there's one that always sticks out to me. And it's, it's, it's pretty obvious, and it's something that you think that you would just know, to be honest with you, but me being the type of person I was and just being such a big dreamer and like nothing, every, you know, nothing's impossible. And like, that's just how I thought as a kid. And so basically I wish I could go and tell that younger cocky kid, hey man, you know, this is, you're gonna have to sacrifice a lot, you know? And uh, like, I mean, 
it's, it's kind of actually kind of a deep, deep thing. It really just depends. I mean, and like I'm still obviously going and I've, I'm going to I'm not going to quit. Uh, but I just wish I would have had a little bit of a heads up as to like, hey, man, you know, you're going to have you know when your buddy over here shoots you that text and is like hey man i just got that uh got that promotion you know and it's like you're extremely ha happy for your friend but this guy went to college and he now he's you know and now you know or he got another buddy who he's married and he sh gives me that call and he's like dude we got to prove for that house or uh hey man i'm moving to la i'm about to start working for uh tesla i got a promotion i'm like extremely happy for these people but it always makes me question like man i i really took a, a extremely risky risky road um and it's and it's not a cookie cutter way to like you know you want to be a teacher okay, it's already written, you do this, 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 then you're a teacher, you want to be a firefighter. I'm not saying these things are easy, but just saying that there's, it's already pre-set out, this is what you have to do. There's no other way to maneuver around it. This is what you have to do with this industry and with what I'm trying to do, it's not that way. And when I was younger, I just had, I had my vision was so strong, I was just like, I'm just gonna, you know, just conquer. And I just wish I would have told, told my younger self, just, hey, patience, uh, and I know that's super cliche, but seriously, um, just the patience. And I'm I'm seeing some things blossom now, but um, and just know that you're gonna have to like sacrifice a lot and like miss out on a lot of stuff. And I've missed out on, on a lot of relationships and things like that. And um, yeah, so basically, I would just go back and I wish I could just tell myself it's caused myself a lot of stress and anxiety. Um, so that yeah, just go back and tell myself that it's not going to happen overnight and this is risky and be happy for your friends that took a whole different route uh, but that's not the route that you took and accept that and just and keep it moving if you really want it if you don't then you would have had already given up years ago I know that was a little over still Okay, so the process. This is, uh, this is the most important thing to me um, as far as creating. Uh, and I think creating anything, but we're just going to talk about as far as me producing right now. Um, like I was saying before, it's everything has to be organic for me. I don't want to force anything. I've literally had situations where it's so important to me where if, I'm, if maybe I'm off that day, or if I can tell that maybe something's off with the client, maybe you know, it could be anything. They're having a, a bad day or just something's not right or something's on their mind. Or I'll, I'll be like, hey, man, maybe I think maybe we should reschedule this. You know, like I'll, I understand how it goes. Now, you're not going to really find any other studios who are going to do that, man. You're going to pay for your time. You've got from, you know, whatever, from nine o'clock to midnight. And at nine is the time's clicking, man. And um you know you're paying for that uh one thing that i do that i learned years ago that has gone such a long way is um you know these other other uh, artists i realized they got so used to to you know operating or being forced to operate that way to where i started noticing like just the smallest little things i was doing to where i had one client um like a year or two ago and he was getting real stressed out and we, every, we were having a really good session and halfway through I could just tell he was there was like the the hook of a song I believe and he just couldn't get it and I'm just like hey take a just step, come out here and take a break is what I said and he's like oh man I only got an hour left and I and I was like nah man like this we're wasting your time we're wasting my time this isn't your voice isn't it? let's just step out man and he's like man I, I really need a cigarette and I'm like, dude, go take a cigarette. And he's like, that's I don't want to pay for that. And I'm like, look, man, I'm not even counting time. I wasn't even aware that you even had an hour left. You know, I mean, again, there's a certain line. I'm not gonna let somebody walk walk all over me. But it's a creative process. It's it's organic, you know. And um, it blew that guy's mind whenever he was like, I can go outside and smoke a cigarette and come. It's like, yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. You know, it was just mind-blowing to me and um 
he comes back in and boom kills it I think on the second take I think he, he killed that hook and um you know, I did have so, so another client come in afterwards, so it's not like I'm going to let you just work for however long, but little stuff like that, man, it just goes such a long way, and he ends up, I never really have to promote clarity or anything because my clients do all of that for me. They will go tell these other people, hey, man, you need, to, you need to go to Rob G. He'll take better care of you. He actually cares about the music, and I'm not trying to throw any shade on any other studios or anything like that, but unfortunately, I really haven't heard anything good from... Uh, any of my clients who have previously worked anywhere else, honestly, um, and just little stuff like that. And so as far as back to the process, just to break it down um, tonight, I'm just going to use him again as an example. Um, I'll, I'll have no idea what we're about to do. Sometimes I, I do. Sometimes we might be, hey, let's finish up this track or something like that. But tonight we're actually starting from scratch, from complete silence. I don't know what we're about to do. I'm gonna feel off his vibe, you know? We're gonna sit down and talk for a little while. Um, again, I'm not one of the guys where I'm sitting here, I'm like, cool, your time starts now. You know, it's like, no, let's, you know, I've put some time aside for this guy and I, I like to do that with, the, you know, with all my clients, try to be fair and try to, you know, you can't lock a, a painter in a room and say, I need this masterpiece, it's gotta be done in like two hours though, like that, that's just not gonna, you're not gonna get the best product. And so, you know, I don't know what we're gonna do. He might come over a little sad, you know, I'm not, not gonna, you know, throw, any shit, throw his name out there or anything. He might be coming a little emo or something. So we're gonna be playing in some minor keys or something tonight maybe, and, you know, maybe he's gotta get something off his chest, I don't know. Or maybe he's gonna be in a good mood and we're gonna do this and that. And, or maybe he's already got a song written that he's been working on and uh, he's gonna, you know, but um, this particular client, He's not one of these guys, and no shade on these guys either, because I've got clients that do this as well, but I, I really don't, I'm getting to the point where I'm really going to stop working with these type of people. People that just show up with some beats, YouTube beats especially, I'm like, I'm just, I really don't work with anybody anymore that's bringing YouTube beats, but even people who are buying these $10 beats online, or I don't, it doesn't even matter how much the beat costs, people that are just bringing beats, they don't have the stems, um, and to break that down real quick, is it, they don't have the they don't they're not giving me the tracks of the song so and these are the people who that opens up a whole nother window of these people just don't know what they're doing so they'll be like man can you turn the piano down on that part no i can't because i don't have the piano to, the, to that part i just have the beat you know if you had the stems i could turn the piano down and some people don't even understand that and you know you learn you know you got to start somewhere so i do remember that you know but I'm, I'm getting to the point now that I'm getting a little more established to where I, I can kind of pick and choose who, to an extent, not to where I want to be yet, but who I want to work with. Like I said, for these people who were just showing up on with, uh, you know, YouTube beats, I don't work with them anymore. I said, hey, if you want to work with me, you need to, you need to actually buy some beats that, that you own. Cause I'm, cause I'm putting a lot in, of, you know, of me into this as well, you know, a lot more than any other producer really that you're going to find. And if you can find another one like me, then that, that's awesome. You know, stick with that guy. But, um, yeah, just the, then the process is different with everybody. That's the thing too, is like, and that goes a long way for me as well is I don't have a certain, this is how it's going to go for everybody. Like the guy tonight, I know how he... I, we've worked together for for so long now that I I know how it's gonna play out and I you know just last night I had a, a session with a a, a, a gentleman and this uh, it's his wife actually they are an acoustic um, duo and I know how they kind of work and you know they they come in with a little bit more obviously it's not hip hop so they they're coming in with some already pre written stuff and I'll throw in my two cents and figure this in and out you know and add, you know don't just just work through it I don't it's kind of hard to explain um but yeah the the process for me is just to keep it as organic as possible and I'm trying not to have people even thinking about time and that again just works out incredible for me because I'll I'll have my DMs blowing up like hey so and so said I need to ch check you out you know this and that and 